Hello, I'm Steve Follum with another weird week from Newslight TV. This week, ice, wind and snow. We start with a man seemingly in distress. Take a look. Help! Help me! He might scream. Partly because it's French. You, you need to. That was meant to be French. Uh, partly because you might think his ship is sinking, but no, more likely because he's run out of sun cream and is dallying about on deck. That's because this is a French artist who has created a permanently sinking ship. It's meant to look like that. It always looks like that. He can drive it like that. Uh, he took a, uh, a wrecked boat that he found in Normandy, cut it in half, uh, sealed it up with fiberglass, stuck two motors on it, and off he went. Well, why not? Uh, lots of people seem impressed. Apart from the Coast Guard, actually. They're the only... Now you can have a piece of glacial history in your own home. A pair of Dutch artists did what any of us would have done when they wanted to make a point about global climate change. They trekked all the way to the North Pole and shipped back a glacier. Well, a bit of one anyway. They then chopped it into a thousand pieces, probably not using their bare hands, put it inside little plastic containers and are setting about selling it for £21 a pop. So you can have a part of a glacier in your own house. Although with the rate at which ice caps are dwindling as habitat, you may well soon find you have a polar bear uh, claiming a stake to your kitchen and wanting to move in. Now then, who wants to see a video of some ducklings struggling in the wind? <laughs> oh God, then, if we must. These, <laughs> these cute little fellas who, um, <laughs> oh, there they go. Uh, these cute little fellas uh, have become a massive online hit. This clip has had over five million views now on YouTube, possibly even more by the time you get to see it go. <laughs> I love them, they're little legs. Somebody should tell them what a big star they have become. They'd be blown away. Next, a 65 million year old iPhone. Must be due an upgrade, surely. They want to check their contract. No, no, not really. Uh, these are specially designed ones, uh, a 10 limited edition history iPhone 4s, uh, where well, get this, take a look. Uh, first of all, they're pretty plush because they have a flawless diamond bezel, platinum plates, and a diamond Apple logo, but that's nothing. The back is carved out of a prehistoric T-Rex tooth and a bit of a meteor. What? Uh, if you're thinking this sounds like a good idea, 40,000 pounds is what it'll cost you. It does look impressive, although frankly, if you do want a, a dinosaur of a phone, I've got an old Nokia 7110 that you can have for a fiver, possibly, I mean. Bosses at a UK hotel, which is next to an aquarium, have come up with a novel way to reduce waste this winter. Uh, they are recycling their Brussels sprouts by feeding them to the fish. This blatantly came about when a child went uh, Yeah, apparently fish have a surprising penchant, that was their word, for Brussels sprouts. Although, don't you think this is just a cheap way of them fueling the jacuzzi? Uh, yeah, but anyway, fish and Brussels sprouts. Just don't let the fish jump out of the water, because you know what will happen. Oh, there they go again. Oof, this one smells a bit. I, I don't know. The sonic screwdriver, as wielded by Doctor Who since 1968, could soon become a reality that you or I could buy. Ultrasonic engineers, who sound like a band, at Bristol University say the technology is already there to make it happen. Basically, by uh, making sound waves work at frequencies that we can't hear, they can manoeuvre objects. Which actually means in reality, they could possibly be able to undo screws without touching them. But that's kind of cool, because that means we could still defeat, if not the Daleks, the second most powerful uh, danger and nemesis known to man. 
that of IKEA furniture. Before we go, just a reminder not to abuse the 999 emergency call system. You may have heard this before. If not, keep an eye on your snowman. Keep this emergency. Hello, I need the place, please. OK, what's happening? Well, what happened was is there's been a theft from outside my house. OK, when did this occur? Well, I'm not sure exactly, because I ain't been out to check on him for about five hours. I went out about five minutes ago to have a fag, and he's gone. So it could be in the last five hours, but I know you'll see some TV up this road. Who's gone, sorry? My snowman. Right, your snowman's been stolen? Yeah. Right, OK, in the last five hours? Well, four to five hours, I can't be sure exactly. And what do you mean? What, a snowman actually made out of snow or an ornament? No, he's made out of snow, I made him myself. Right, OK. He had two of my teaspoons in his arms and money on his face. I'm not being funny, I know it's only a snowman, but I thought it'd be fine. What was it being icy in that? People ain't been walking up and down the road. It ain't a nice road, but at the end of the day, you don't expect someone to meet a snowman, do you know what I mean? It's got Remember, it ain't a nice road, but you don't expect anybody to nick your snowman. Wise words. I've been Steve Holland. That was your weird week. <laughs>